Hey bye, Thomas here, and today we are going over my new saw. So I've actually owned a lot of Husqvarna's. This is a Husqvarna 365, and I've actually got the bigger brothers to this saw. I also have a Husqvarna 372 XP and a 575 XP. Uh, but this 365, this is a beast of a saw. I have a 24 inch bar on this. Just picked this up the other day at Agricola Hardware, and I'm very happy. I've had this saw now for roughly I don't know, three weeks or so, and I've cut quite a bit. I've already, I, I say cut quite a bit. I've run through about two tanks of fuel, and I just filled up again today. So what we're going to be cutting today is some pecan. We're going to go through and show some of the cutting of this. Although I just now noticed there's a kind of an open spot there. This is a tree that came down during Zeta not too long ago. I'm out here, Tommy and my neighbor. But we are clearing out this tree that fell down, most likely during Hurricane Zeta. And we're going to make this uh, cleared up. So this is... Uh, also surprised because right over here there's a Chinese fur which we're gonna pull that out as well so I'm very excited to be getting some pecan and some Chinese fur so uh, two for one and luckily luckily my neighbor has his tractor here and it's not too far down the road and I brought my trailer so this is literally you know free wood cleaning out so he can get some hay off this lot this is a lot that they're gonna be uh, uh, doing for hay and then maybe put some calves on later in the year all right so stay tuned here we go All right, folks, so you saw, you saw there in the time lapse, as soon as I got into it, I guess my chain was loose and I threw it off. <laughs> and I tightened it up a second time. But now we're good. We've go, gone ahead and cut up all the other pieces here. You can see it's all good to go. And we're gonna be loading those up onto the trailer here shortly. But I'm gonna cut this one. I'm gonna cut this one in real time. So I'm cutting the log length at about 10 foot. I do have kind of an unknown area down here. There could be some rotten stuff. I'm gonna cut it at 10 foot, and then we'll see what we actually get out of it. We may only get an eight foot section out of it, but you know, it is pecan, it's a nice looking wood, and we'll go from there. So, cut it. we're actually cutting about 10, 10 three. I'm gonna hop off, Tommy. I'm gonna cut, hopefully on this side, a little bit on that side, cut from the bottom, and hopefully she'll slide straight down. Maybe the root stump will actually uh, go back that way, but we'll see. Also, checking the areas over quite well for rattlesnakes, uh, copperheads, and whatnot because we have a rather warm day today. After some cold weather, it should be popping out. <laughs>
this side, now I'll go back to the other side, do the same thing, cut from the bottom, do the undercut there, and hopefully she'll slide right off. That's the plan. light going all the way through it so again 370 or yeah 365 it's a good saw I think this one's a 70 cc very impressed uh, pecan is very hard wood um, and it handled it no problem and I was putting it full length of bar all 24 <coughs> should be sawdust ready fit all uh, 24 inches of the bar into the wood and she didn't really bog down at all now, we're gonna get the tractor on this, push this out, load these onto a trailer, and we'll do some more review of this, because there's a few things I really like about this saw over my 575 XP. So, yeah, stay tuned. We'll do that here in a second. Well, folks, that's not a decent, that's not a bad haul there. It's a pretty dang decent haul. So, pecan and Chinese fir. We're gonna strap this down, and there's a few more logs way up there by the road, which we're gonna go ahead and get now. I think I got enough room for another uh, thousand pounds or so. so. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. Then we'll get to the uh, conclusion of the review of the 365 Husqvarna chainsaw. Okay, folks, we made it back. Very happy with the haul. The Chinese fur, we have this long one right here. I'll probably make a couple posts out of that for myself on a future project we're gonna work on. I have a smaller piece that's like the end down there, and that's what I'm gonna give to Mr. Robert. He makes birdhouses out of that, and maybe we'll show a video of that. That's actually some pretty cool stuff, and it'd be a good time to go over and see Mr. Robert. Overall, very happy with the way the pecan looks. As you can see, very clean logs, uh, very, interesting with all the fern type stuff growing on it save some crotch sections because those are always beautiful overall though very happy i think this is going to be a very beautiful cut and as you can see i mean there's just a lot of uh neat little uh, inclusions and imperfections inside the wood of pecan however pecan tends to be one of my least favorite woods to cut because it does continue to move for quite some time the drying of pecan can be challenging but uh, I do have a lot of crust here recently for pecans. I need to get on it. So in conclusion about this chainsaw, the 365 Husqvarna. Now this is not an XP. I'm very much a fan of the XP saws. Uh, this one is just a 365 71cc. 
uh, very, very stout saw. I've got a 24 inch bar on there. I'm very happy with performance. This is the smaller brother to the 372 XP. And, and in fact, my other saw that I have, it's kind of my part saw right now. I've broken quite a bit of stuff on the body. Uh, I could actually take this saw right here when it's older and uh, bore it out to make it the same as a 372 XP. Really, I can't tell much of a difference between the power. This is a new saw with my other one. She's got a couple of years on her. Uh, very happy with the performance though. Uh, one of the things I really like, now my 575 XP, when your hand is up here on the top of the bar and you've got a log right here, the exhaust, it will get your hands hot. This one here, they do a pretty good job of deflecting that exhaust off of there. Now I can port this. It's It seems to have plenty of power as it is right now, um, but yeah, I could. I think I, I like the way it's cutting right now, and it is a brand new saw, so I don't want to, you know, tweak it quite yet. We'll start doing that once uh, things start, you know, slowing up on her. But overall, I'm very happy. It has a very large fuel tank. It is integrated into the handle. Now, this is another thing on my other saw. Uh, this whole bottom section right here, it's kind of expensive to replace. Now, I do have that new portion, and I have this, and there's some other parts. I'm, I'm going to get the 372 probably running at some point. Just not quite yet. Uh, very large oil reservoir as well. And it's just a powerful saw. So if you're looking for a saw that literally is an XP saw, I mean, I don't see much difference between these. Uh, this is a great saw. They are kind of spendy. I think I walked out the door. I grow a hardware with this at uh, like $840 or something like that. But again, down here in the south, you need a good saw for hurricane season you need a large saw so 24 inch bar i could run a 30 inch bar on this if i want to but I, i'll probably put the 30 inch bar on my 575 xp and use this as my uh, medium size saw and then my smaller saw i'll use for my limbing one now i was limbing with this today with that 24 inch bar with the way the saw and you know working with these limbs overhead that is kind of difficult uh, because of the weight of it but if I'm not doing it for all day, it's good for short little drops. One or two trees, no problem. If you start doing this for multiple trees, this thing will wear you out just because of how large it is. Uh, it does have a lot of power. Um, so if you're not used to a saw with this much power, uh, kickback is a real thing. So just make sure you plan accordingly. This is not really like a residential or uh, you know home type use. This is more of a commercial or you know ranch farm something like that or someone who's running in my case like a sawmill and doing a lot of tree cleanup um, so you know size your saw to your needs if you're working in a uh, an urban environment and everything and you're just maintaining your backyard this is probably not the saw for you i mean there are less expensive saws out there but this saw right here just like my other one my other one i've had for eight years and I've abused it. I've used it really hard for eight years and she's still running great. The only thing that's messed up on the saw is I had a tree fall down the actual handle, kind of busted it up. Just cosmetic type stuff. The engine, everything else is perfect on it. My 575 XP, same type thing. And she's in a little bit better condition though. I haven't dropped a tree on her yet, knock on wood. But uh, this saw right here is, is to replace my 372 XP until I get her back up and running. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, see some cutting of uh, the logs that we can do with this and yeah other than that i need to get to cutting i uh i've got cedar on there and i just cut a lot of cedar today and for some friends that are going to come over and pick up some maybe this afternoon but beautiful beautiful day i just love uh, the springtime and the colors and the birds and the smells if you are uh, one prone to allergies right now would not be your favorite time of year but for me i absolutely love this time of year Stay tuned. We'll see you around. Please like, subscribe. Thanks.